Five, four, three, two, one. Thunderbirds are go. You called, milady? Yes, Parker. Get the Rolls Royce. We are going for a little drive. Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to be looking at this brand new release from Scale Etch Trick, Thunderbirds Lady Penelope's Fab One. And as you can see just by looking in the box, this looks to be a phenomenal looking model. This isn't going to be an in-depth review. I am no Scale Electrics expert. I am a Thunderbirds fan, a collector of Thunderbirds memorabilia. And when they announced this about 18 months ago, um, I knew that I'd got to order one and they are selling out very very fast they are 55 pounds I think round about that but uh, this is a big car this is probably I think I read online that this is the biggest car that scale electrics have ever made it's got three axles six wheels and it's even got Lady Penelope and Parker inside the car so let's have a look and open this up and see what it's like. Now, as I said, I am not a scale electrics collector. I don't have any scale electrics track, but I do have a means of testing to see if it works. But if you want to see one tearing round a track, you're gonna to have to wait until I go to a uh, somewhere where it's got a layout. Now, one thing I'm gonna say about the box, if you buy one of these, you've got to be very careful. Now you'll see it on this aerial, the car doesn't fit in very well. When you open the box, it pushes the aerial inwards. So when you open the box up, when you close the box, it will catch the aerial look. So do not force it down as you will ping this aerial. The aerial isn't glued in, but you will ping it off or snap it and then you'll ruin it. So you have to gently bend it in to get it back in the box. So just be mindful of that um, if you buy one of these. So there it is. There is a lot of clear glazing on this model. It's a fully detailed interior with fully detailed and painted figures. The chrome work looks to be very, very good, although there is a mark just there and it is very reflective. I mean, look at that. You can see that screwdriver reflecting in that. So let's get it off the base and have a proper look. Now, this is marketed as one in 30 second scale and I have a one in 30 second Ayashima plastic kit that I built that features earlier on in the channel and I can confirm that these two cars are exactly the same size so I think the scale is spot on but just look at the pink paintwork on this model it looks absolutely stunning the fab one number plates the uh, underside you've got the brush and the brush holder now interestingly underneath the box you get another two sets of brushes with it which is a nice addition i'm not sure if that comes with every scale electrics car but like i said i'm not a scale electrics collector but what i'm going to do is i'm just going to pull these brush tabs down slightly and then with a nine volt battery she should fire into life so that's reverse and in forwards full complement of headlights and it's obviously working very well as you can hear and on the rear there are some tail lights as well when i get the back there you go the rear lights light up so you've got your twin exhausts and it's hard to know where to hold this i was holding it with the clear canopy and i don't want to leave finger marks on it but as i said the two aerials are not glued in they are removable so just bear that in mind they could be easily lost but just take a look at that interior from the correct steering wheel to the dials the vents even the pinstriping on the rear seats where lady penelope sat everything is painted the paintwork on those figures is tremendous you can see the buttons on her dress she's got high heel shoes on parker looks absolutely fabulous in there you like a light i even got the correct face look hello my lady yeah that was a bad uh, impression you've got the famous rolls royce badge the only thing missing is a working gun even the um 
even the wing mirrors have got the reflective parts on them so they look like they are actually mirrors and there's the vent at the back along with the boot now that to me looks like fab one it indeed is fab one that is fabulous it is fabulous now i'll show you this on the box now this will mean something to people um that do scale electrics all the time you've got that these um indicators now that i know is forward and rear lights that i assume is detail but like i said i'm not a scale electrics collector so i don't um i don't know what a lot of those mean so i'm just going to set that aside and see if there's anything else on the box um oh there's an icon there's a key um an icon there for the keys just a bit about thunderbirds licensing there is no other thunderbirds detail about lady penelope parker or fab one on the box which is a little bit of a shame it would have been nice to have something that showed you the uh, maybe the history or the features of the car in just trying to get this out of the car in uh, in the show there's some more instructions in that fold away part but that is it for in relation to thunderbirds um you know thunderbirds information but what a fantastic looking piece near where i live is a place where you can go and race scale electrics and the owner i took uh, we took one of our kids there for a birthday and i told the owner that i'd order one of these and he said i was welcome to go there and have a run on his tracks on his um you know scale uh, race tracks so i might have to take this for a spin uh, in the next couple of months but I'm just in awe. It is so nice. And the pink almost matches identical to the pink I used on the Aishim model. And what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description um, to my earlier video where I showed you the kit built uh, fab one that I've got, which is the same size of this. The kit built has got working steering, but it hasn't got the figures. And the figures really do set this off. I mean, it's got a large canopy on that that car. So to not have any figures in it would uh, would have been uh, foolhardy. But what an awesome model from Scale Electrics. Hopefully they will carry on the trend. If anybody from Scale Electrics is watching, or indeed Hornby watching, um, you could do the hood in his uh, laundry van from the very first episode. Or even better, do an SPV. Now an SPV from Captain Scarlet. Now if you're not familiar with what that is, I'll put a picture in the corner with all the wheels along the side and a working missile on the front, an SPV would be fantastic in scale electrics and it would complement this uh, fab one quite nicely. So I'm going to put that in the box. That is, um, unfortunately for all you scale electrics fans, mine is going to be a display piece. It won't be used very often, um, but I just had to have one as it is the first time that scale electrics have done anything from Thunderbirds. Or indeed, I think any Jerry Anderson thing. But uh, it is well worth it. I mean, it is fantastic. It is a fantastic piece of kit and well worth the money. I may have to invest in some track. <laughs> I need to see this going around. But thank you very much for watching. Um, it was only, like I say, not an in-depth review. It was just a basic quick look at this model um, to, just to show you how good this actually is. I know there are some people out there online saying that it's the wrong shape, etc. But you must remember that there wasn't just one filming model for Fab One. Fab One had various filming models, as did Stingray, as did the Thunderbird Craft. Everything that Jerry Anderson, they had various sizes, various models, and no two looked the same. They looked extremely similar. But say, for example, one view of Fab One, you'll have it it'll look like that. And the other one, it will look more boxy. It depended on the model maker of the time. But that is fantastic. I mean, the chrome work on that is brilliant. I can't praise it enough. I love it. It's really good. Thanks very much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next video. Well done, Parker. Thank you, madam. Home, my lady. Home, Parker.